fast to prepare for this. Tripping in the world could be dangerous. Everybody circling this vulture race. Negative, nepotist. Everybody waiting for the fall of May. Everybody praying for the end of times. Everybody hoping they could be the one. I was born to run. I was born for this. I'm in the fifth grade. My poem that I will be reading is what the club means to me. What the club has done for me, the club put a positive impact on life. It makes me work hard and be who I want to be. I want to be a doctor. Yeah, that's what I want to be. They taught me how to work hard and follow my dreams. And if I get stuck, they'll still be proud of me. What the club has done for me, what the club has done for me, what the club has done for me. I also made new friends along the way, even though some moved away, I'm always meeting new friends every day. That's why I love the club so much, sorry I gotta wrap it up, I also learned lots of stuff. Striving and doing whatever it takes. 
whatever it takes to get a 4.0 GPA, letting the future know when you do whatever it takes, anything is possible. Whatever it takes to be the best you can be every day. Follow your heart, dream big, and have passion, because anything is possible any day. Whatever it takes to never give up, because hope is not canceled, neither is your future. So when you go out to the world, always remember you are amazing and everything is possible. Since 1974, Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Minnesota has been here to support the families of our community and to do whatever it takes to give every kid a chance at a great future. It's been more than a year since the pandemic struck, and while our world looks very different today, we remain committed to doing whatever it takes to build great futures. Last spring, when Governor Walls ordered a school shutdown across the state, we partnered with our local school districts to launch Boys and Girls Club's Emergency Services Child Care Program in the St. Cloud, Sauk Rapids, Rice, and Sartell St. Stephen School Districts. We provided free child care for critical workers so they could get to work and keep our community safe, knowing their children were cared for and receiving distance learning support. We continue to provide free child care for critical workers throughout the school year during hybrid and distance learning. Our clubs and kids stop sites were able to reopen last summer under COVID safety restrictions to support the youth who needed us most. Over the past school year, Boys and Girls Club's dedicated staff have opened our doors for more programs than ever before to help youth and their families. We've been open before and after school and during hybrid and distance learning to make sure kids have a safe, positive place to go where they have access to internet and help with their schoolwork where they can count on a consistent smiling face that they know and trust. Boys and Girls Club is doing whatever it takes to curb hunger for kids during the COVID-19 crisis. At the start of the pandemic, club staff started a grab-and-go mobile meal distribution program for families at the Southside, Roosevelt, and Eastside clubs on Mondays and Thursdays, providing supersized snacks and dinners seven days a week to ensure that our youth have the nutrition they need to be successful in school and in life. We will continue to provide thousands of grab-and-go meals until it is safe to resume serving meals in a congregate setting. Doing whatever it takes also means getting other necessities in the hands of kids. So our staff distribute personal hygiene packages, including toothbrushes, crayons, deodorant, and other products through the Grab and Go Meal Program. They are including toothbrushing challenges, project learn activities, and crisis hotline information in Somali and English for our members. Club professionals are doing whatever it takes to connect with youth virtually during the pandemic. This means making phone calls to check up on youth, scheduling Zoom meetings, and even building a virtual club filled with videos, activities, and challenges designed to keep kids busy and connected, even when they are at home. Yes, the world is a different place right now, but Boys and Girls Club is still doing whatever it takes to meet the needs of the youth in our community. 
Right now, whatever it takes means supporting our front lines by providing a safe place for their children, ensuring they continue to move forward in their education, getting meals out to kids in need, and connecting with kids virtually. Boys and Girls Club does whatever it takes to bring hope to this community.
partners for the future make an amazing commitment when they pledge $5,000 per year for three years. Their contributions enable the staff to provide high-impact programming to more than 5,000 boys and girls clubs. And now I'd like to recognize each of our partners for the future. Please stand when your name is called and be recognized at your seat. I'd ask that everyone hold your applause until I get through the very, very long list. Jean and Sheila Winfeld. John and Sherry McDowell. Joan and Kevin Schatz. Tony and Joyce Tillemans. Tom and Nancy Voss. Bob and Ann Mahold. Greg and Beth Winfeld. Cinema Entertainment Corporation. Midwest Coin Concepts. Marco. Layton Broadcasting, Don Helgeson and Sue Shepard, Arnie Schiller, Central McGowan and the Francis Family, Berg and Katie B, Ann and Mark Thielen, Everett and Rita Sabanya, Rice Companies, Landwork Construction, Tim Cherhart and Jeannie Soling, Stephen Molly Winfeld, Deb and Tim Nemesis, HRS Rentals, St. Cloud Subaru, LJ Plumbing and Heating, Granite City Refrigeration and Sheet Metal, Central Minnesota New and Optimus, Matt and Jessica Nicodem, Granite Equity Partners, Dick and Mimi Bitson, Joni and Mike Carl, West Bank, Darren and Amy Danielson, Tom and Joyce Schlu, and Gary and Jane Marsden. I would like to specifically recognize our newest members of the Partners for the Future program with a framed paper casting of the Boys and Girls Club logo made especially for our partners. Please welcome to the stage Granite Equity Partners Rick Bowerly, Joni and Mike Carl, Kurt Gainsworth on behalf of West Bank, Darren and Amy Danielson, and Gary and Jane Marsden. Super excited to lose the mask. Get an applause for that one. We'll wait for them to get back to their seats here. I'd like to thank all of our partner for the futures. Let's give them another round of applause. Again, we would not be able to do any of the programming that we do without your generous and continual support, so thank you. At this time, I would like to welcome board, former chair, um, board of director Chris Schubert to the stage to present the next award. Thank you, Mary. At this time, I'm honored to present the 2021 Larry Haas Champion of Youth Humanitarian Award. In 2011, we introduced a special award in honor of a one-of-a-kind guy, Larry Haas. This was the Champion of Youth <coughs> Humanitarian Award. Larry Haas received this award because of his lifelong fight for the little guys. 
We will all truly miss Larry's champion spirit, and it is our hope that this award builds a legacy of champions for youth. The purpose of this award is to recognize an individual or organization that has gone beyond the call of duty to meet big challenges in our community in order to provide safe, positive place for children to be. On behalf of the Boys and Clubs Board of Directors, I am honored, extremely honored, to present this year's award to the Boys and Girls Club staff for their incredible mission-driven work on the front lines during the pandemic. Please give a big, big round of applause to our staff. Please stand up. Please. than the Boys and Girls Club. 
through this COVID crisis. Uh, it has just been unbelievable, their partnership and their willingness to work with some of the very toughest and the very most at need families and to make those services available to those kids and to work really creatively with our school staff to make sure that we have comprehensive program that follows the kids, that supports the kids, not only during the school day, but then for after hours too. Uh, I would like to give a special shout out to those people that work directly with me here at Pleasant View, and that would be Jenna, Aaron, and Sim, and they have just been incredible partners, and we together we've tackled some really tough situations and made win-win out of that. And I can think of nothing better than, than, work, than giving this award to the Boys and Girls Club. Also a shout out to Jerry, who when, when the rest of us want to throw it in, she says one more try for those kids. So uh, lo love to actually, and I'm honored to work with such a great organization. So thank you and well-deserved Boys and Girls Club. Giant. Escape Babysitters better keep him on the side. 
all clubs and kids stops with five videos that were made available on demand in April. Our dance artist Natalie Carr took video clips from each of the sites to create powerful videos that shows kids across Central Minnesota stepping together and building the cultural unity. and Natalie also created a dance challenge to all our members who are joining the club, the club virtually with dance called Dynamo.
skills that will empower youth to start their own, their great future and career of their choice. We're proud to say that the Boys and Girls Club didn't push pause on Career Start in 2020 due to COVID. In fact, the club added more programs under the Career Start umbrella, including a cert certified nursing pro assistant program and a robotics program and a CEO program. Please welcome Amina Kostar and Shukri for, from the Southside Club to tell you more about robotics and the CEO program. Yeah, 
more about the power of the youth arts initiative. At Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Minnesota, our mission is to do whatever it takes to empower all youth, especially those who need us most, to reach their full potential. We pledge to work with families and our community to provide equitable opportunities and support social justice at the Boys and Girls Club so that our kids, families, and our community have a better tomorrow. The Youth Arts Initiative is uniquely positioned to empower our youth and help them build resiliency through arts programming and experiences that create hope, opportunity, peace, and equity. Boys and Girls Club's strategic focus on equity and inclusion has led to a concerted plan by the artist team to partner with local organizations, including the Cop House and Center Care, to offer monthly conversational presentations on the topics of mental health, diversity, equity, inclusion, policing, and more. All learning that takes place during these discussions will be used to create original therapeutic artwork that's exhibited at the Paramount, throughout the community, and on social media. This project stands to give youth a voice in our community through the arts. They will develop strategies for how youth can play a pivotal role in building trust and support. I do art at the Southside Boys and Girls Club. One of the reasons I started doing art is because I don't really know why. I just tried it one day and I fell in love with it. And then I, I started doing it every single day. I like doing art at the Southside Boys and Girls Club because it's quiet, so I can concentrate. It's fun to do art and see friends and meet new people that are new to the studio. The best thing is that I get to see Miss Allison every single day. She helps me every day too. I am really grateful. And if you were here, would you be too? Hi, my name is Shadir, and I go to the Southside Boys and Girls Club. I started painting at six, and I still love painting. The big art piece that I created is called the Comforting Painting. I started it in January of 2020, then closed the clubs. I finished it the last week of April 2021. I like the colors, the yin yang sign, and the bottle caps that I use for recycling.
2004, the Boys and Girls Club of Central Minnesota instituted the Thomas A. Ritchie Lifetime Commitment to Caring Award to honor members of the, our community who have gone above and beyond the call of duty to help the Boys and Girls Club accomplish their mission. To inspire and enable all young people, especially those who need us most, to realize their full potential as productive, responsible, and caring citizens. This year, I have the distinct pleasure of recognizing Ron and Grace Berg we're remembering Ron with the presentation of the Thomas A. Ritchie Lifetime Commitment to Caring Award. Ron and Grace Berg have been faithful supporters of the Boys and Girls Club dating back as far as the Boys and Girls Club giving records go. In 1995, Ron and Grace started the David Berg Memorial Scholarship Fund in memory of their son David, who passed away at the age of 12. The purpose of the scholarship Fund is to provide a Kids Up scholarship to a family experiencing financial difficulty each year. This past year, the scholarship was given to a single mom who is a critical care worker at Centra Care. Ron and Grace have been committed to supporting this scholarship for more than 25 years. In 2019, they shared the following testimonial about their giving. It all starts with the kids. If we can help provide a positive environment for children, it will build their confidence and keep them on the right track to be successful throughout their lives. The Boys and Girls Club provides that environment and has been a positive force in our community. Ron and Grace have certainly been a positive force in this community as well. Ron led a great career, first at J.C. Penney for 22 years and then at Walking Billboards for 20, another 20 years. He also supported Grace in her career at GB and Company. The Bergs were very supportive of the Boys and Girls Club through all three of their businesses donating goods and services to our summer benefit silent auction annually. Ron and Grace also pledged to our capital campaigns. In 2018, Ron and Grace became key contributors through their pledge for the Great Futures Endowment Campaign. Ron became a founding member of the Boys and Girls Club Board of Trustees in 1998. We have fond memories of him throughout his tenure on the trustees, including our most recent in-person annual trustee meeting in October. We are very sorry that Ron couldn't be here with us tonight to accept this recognition that he so richly deserves. Our deepest sympathies go out to Grace, Kim, Paige, and Frank for the loss of their beloved husband, father, and grandfather. Ron always loved receiving artwork created by the youth through the David Berg Memorial Scholarship Fund. He said he also received artwork and thank you messages from the Boys, and, the Boys Scouts who were sponsored through Ron and Grace's generosity as well. Ron really enjoyed connecting with our youth artists, as you can see in the photo behind him, me, on a previous showcase. Their artwork provides inspiration and hope for us all. I'd like to invite Demar back to the stage now to recite a poem that Ron and Grace's son David wrote shortly before he passed.
We can never thank you and Ron enough for your commitment to the youth, which will make an impact on our community for generations to come. Grace and Kim, please come forward to receive the Boys and Girls Club of Central Minnesota's Thomas A. Ritchie Lifetime to Commitment Caring.
give it up to those dancers again, shall we? I would like to ask uh, Mazna and Tamar to come on out. Let's give it up to our two co-MCs. Take a bow. Thank you. Nice job. So once again, I would like to thank you for joining us tonight. Um, without your support, your participation, uh, none of this would be possible. Thinking back to the, the words that Kim spoke and how you're able to, you know, bring a smile, or even the poem from David, bring a smile to somebody and share happiness. That's what it's all about. And we are able to do that through your generous support and continued support with the Boys and Girls Club. When you think about the past year, uh, year and a half that we have been through, and to see these kids up here performing, creating businesses, um, programming robots, um, the artwork, it is amazing, and it is all because of our community coming together to support them. And I encourage you to continue to do what you can to help people smile and to help them bring happiness, just as the poem stated. Um, with that, let's give one final applause to all of the youth performers tonight, the dancers, the artists, the, the CEO creators, and the robot designers. So give applause to all of our youth. And as Amy knows, I cannot follow a script to save my life, so sorry, Amy. Um, and with that, we bring a conclusion to our event tonight. However, as you leave, please uh, take the, our culinary arts program students, um, put together and baked cookies for you as a thank you for participating in our activity or our event tonight. We are so excited that we could come together in person. Um, we are very excited. <laughs> Hugging is really difficult not to do. So thank you so much for joining us. Uh, please make sure that you pick up a bag of treats on your way out to enjoy. And with that, thank you. And we have one final um, video I think we're going to play. And again, thank you for joining us.